What's up everybody, you're very welcome along to this Sadio Mane special video here on Anfield Agenda. What I'm going to try and do is have a look over the players that have 18 months or less remaining on their contract. A little series that I'm going to do over the course of this month here on Anfield Agenda's YouTube channel. So we've already done uh, one video, this is the second one in the series. I will also be doing one on Alex Oakley, Chamberlain, all the players, Sadio Mane, Mohamed Salah, Bobby Firmino, all the ones that are inside the final 18 months. And we're going to try to come to the conclusion of what the club should do with these guys because as fans we are of course emotionally invested in wanting them to say and these guys have given us some of the best nights of our lives before i get stuck into it though this video has been brought to you with thanks to our friends at spitch spitch is a new fantasy football manager game that allows you to prove your football knowledge and test yourself against other football fans up and down the UK. Uh, if you haven't yet known what Spitch is about, it is, as I said, a fantasy Premier League game. You can score points in the game based on things like tackles, assists, shots, goals, all the usual stuff. There are a whole multitude of pitches available, some of them paid, some of them free. But either way, you can be in with a chance to win your share of a 70 grand prize pool over the course of the weeks. And unlike FPL, you can actually put it down and come back to it and still be in with a good chance each week with those weekly prizes. One thing that you do have to be is a resident of the UK, age 18 years or older. There are tons of stats available as well, previews ahead of each week's games. And there are paid pitches, there are some free pitches, but it is up to you which one you choose. We're very thankful to the folks at Spitch for being with us here. Link is in the description below and as i said 18 plus uk residents only right folks sadio mane so difficult maybe one of the most videos difficult videos excuse me i'm gonna have to make because i love sadio i do but i'm also aware that football's a ruthless business and right now i don't think we can envision a situation where liverpool renew the five players contracts i just don't think that'll happen so we have to start looking at who can be replicated, who can be replaced, and who is quite simply irreplaceable. I think we'll all agree, Salah, irreplaceable. Thiago, I think with the contract situation, the fact that he's got so long left, I imagine he'll be here to stay. Oxley chamberlain jury's out on him, but right now, Sadio Mane. So if we look at it just from goals and assists from that perspective, in 17-18, he was averaging a goal and assist every 1.5 games. This season, so far, a goal every 2.3 games, a goal or assist every 2.3 games. Look, it did go up and down a little bit. It was 1.6 in 1819, 1.4 in 1920, and 1.7 last year to 2.3 now. By Sadio Mane's own admission, his form last year wasn't up to his own high standards. And the reason that I think, and you've probably heard me say this on videos, I think that Sadio Mane is the one that we should move on from the front three. The reason being... Mohamed Salah, look, you don't need me to tell you why we should keep Mohamed Salah. And Bobby Firmino, I don't think, is easily replicated. I don't think Klopp can bring somebody in. Uh, I say this, and I'm about to utter the words Diogo Jota out of my own mouth, who does replicate a bit of what Bobby does, but not everything. And I think Bobby would be happier to see a bit of a bit part role in the squad as he gets a little bit older. He can be used in an attacking midfielder, or he can be used as an attacker. Mane as a pacey wide forward. Have we been a little bit unfair to Sadio since he came in the door, at least since Mo came in the door? We know Sadio used to prefer to come in off the right-hand side. When Mo came in, Sadio was shifted across to the left, and look, it didn't seem to rattle him one bit. He was absolutely phenomenal. But his numbers are dropping off a little bit, and yes, I know he's still up there with the highest scorers in the Premier League, but I think we'd be kidding ourselves if we were to say that he's at the same level he always was. But then again, it is a difficult conversation because we're talking about a man who's been part of the success we've had, who's brought us a Premier League, a Champions League, a Club World Cup and a Super Cup. And those things can't be forgotten, but we also can't sit on our hands. So we as fans have been moaning at the owners, a lot of us, not all of us, at the owners to get some business done. But it's tough to say that because we know somebody has to be moved on. And with Sadio Mane... I can't see that we'll let him run out of contract and leave in 16, 17 months' time. So I think it, my view on this situation is in the summer, I think Sadio could be moved on. Now, how much for and where to, that I don't know. I mean, it's very difficult to gauge the market at the minute, particularly when we're in a world where Eden Hazard, with one year left on his contract, went from Real Madrid, or excuse me, from Chelsea to Real Madrid for 100 million euro. No way am I expecting us to get that for Sadio Mane. Well, I think certainly clubs like Juventus, maybe a Bayern Munich, uh, perhaps a club in Spain, will look at Sadio Mane and think, 
we can get this guy cheaper than he should be because of his contract situation. And we will certainly get three, four years out of him. Because Premier League, the hustle and bustle of it, it's playing at 100 miles an hour. It's one of the most demanding leagues, if not the most demanding in the world. And Sadio Mane looks after himself. He's a fit guy. But again, I make that argument about Salah. I'll make that argument about Firmino. And we can keep them all on. But I do think a pacey wide forward is easier to bring in. So whether you're looking at somebody like... Doku as an example or whether you're going for more of a Rafinha or whether you're going for I don't know different type of forward altogether I think that is the time to make these tough decisions right now I also think and I've said this on streams before that we need to move on at least one of Oxley Chamberlain or Naby Keita and I say that with a heavy heart because I really like both lads but there's no good having these line breakers these difference makers in midfield they're not available to play and they haven't been available a lot of the time for one reason or another we can't really say that about Sadio too much though his fitness and his availability have been pretty bulletproof and um, some of his goals have been amazing as well and this isn't an easy video to make video what's a video I don't know this isn't an easy video to make because I can see a situation where Sadio Mane could go on for two three four years and not fall away but we need to look at a rebuild here and, and not a wholesale rebuild that sounds like a bit dramatic but we do need to Put in a little bit of youth into the team. And look, I don't know when this goes out if more stuff will come out around the Fabio Carvalho links or not. But that's the type of player we need to look at. 19 years of age or so, um, bringing into the club, getting them for a really cheap price like that. Would be around 5 million if the figures are to be believed or potentially on a free at the end of the season. And look, I don't want FSG to cheapskate the rebuild, but when there are ways of doing it quite cleverly, and yes, we will need to go out there and sign a quality forward. And will it be a Rafinha? Will it be a Jared Bowen? I like Jared Bowen. I do. I really like Bowen. And I can see Bowen as a, a very good replacement for Sadio Mane, in my humble opinion. And then we have the Jeremy Doku link, somebody who Liverpool have been linked to for the longest time. Somebody who, if I'm being entirely honest, probably isn't ready just yet to come in and try and replicate Mane. But if you're looking at a style of footballer, you can see those. Another link that we've had, another possible Sadio Mane replacement could be Nkunku. Somebody who is probably as versatile as Sadio. Could play anywhere across the front three. Um, obviously, coming through the Leipzig system as well, he would be well-tuned to the style of football that we play, the pressing system. Um, and there's no accident that we keep going back looking for players from Red Bull or from the Leipzig clubs, because, or Leipzig or Salzburg, the Red Bull clubs, because they play a similar format. They press in a way we do. Oh, look, there are some intricacies and the differences, but ultimately, Klopp likes those type of footballers and they have been known to unearth some real talents. I don't really take any pleasure in saying that Sadio Mane is the one of the front three that I would move on because why would I? You know what I mean? It's it's difficult. And one thing that we've judged managers by in the past, whether it be Sir Alex Ferguson, whether it be Arsene Wenger or whomever, is having the ability to know when is the right time to let people go. It's harder when you see Klopp because we know Klopp has a bond with these guys. We know that Klopp takes his role as a manager seriously and his role as a leader seriously. And if you were to get the buy-in that you get from those players, you've got to give it back. But we also know that football doesn't wait for anybody. And we don't have access to the type of metrics that Klopp and the coaches have. And we don't know what his stats are like with regards to sprints and goals and all of these things. Well, goals, clearly, obviously we do. But you, you know where I'm getting at this. We don't see the, the multitude of uh, tracking and metrics that the club have. And I'm wondering if that is showing a decline. I mean, I can work off the very basic things here, like goals and assists and stuff, but I just think he's the easiest to replicate. And I think probably the most valuable out of himself and Firmino as well, if we were to move him on with one year to go. I mean, what would a one-year left in his contract Sadio Mane go for? Um, I would suggest we could probably still get about £30 million for him. I'd love to know your thoughts on this, by the way, in the comments. And this isn't me saying let's get rid of Sadio for the sake of it. It is being done with a heavy heart. But Salah has to stay. We know that. His numbers are ridiculous. For me, no, he's been linked to Barcelona. Um, I think Bobby's happy, though. I'm not saying Sadio isn't, but I think we've always had this do they, don't they kind of thing with, with Salah and Mane. Is there a rivalry there? Do they get on? I think they get on. But ultimately, I think they're also both two lads that want to be the main man and can make a good case for wanting to be the main man at a club. So, look, whatever happens, there are going to be difficult decisions ahead for Jurgen Klopp, for us fans, the stomach, and for the owners to make. Um, I just hope that they make the right ones, and I don't know what they are, but I do think that we need to prepare ourselves for some 
uncomfortable decisions to be made over the coming months. And I would just say, look, whatever we think about the owners, and we're split on that, I'm certainly of the mindset that I don't hold too much uh, positive stuff to say about the owners. But I do believe in Jurgen Klopp. I do believe in Pep Linders. I do believe in Kravitz. I do believe in the recruitment team. And I do think that if we do have to make these decisions and bring in some players, we will bring in the right calibre of players. And if Sadio does leave, he should go with a massive thank you, a huge hug from all of us. And uh, yeah, just a big thumbs up for all the great work that he's done. So look, I don't know where this video has gone. I don't really know if I've made valid points or not. But I can tell you one thing, it's not an easy video to make because I really do love Sadio Mane. But ultimately, I think we can get the most from him and he's probably the easiest to replicate. That's kind of where I've ended up with, even though I've gone around in a circle a few times. Let me know your thoughts on Sadio Mane. Don't forget to drop a like on the video. Hit that subscribe button. Keep your comments coming. And let me know your thoughts on the transfer business or those players that are running down into the last 18, 17, 18, 19, 16 months. <laughs> like, I'm throwing numbers out there now, am I really? Um, let me know your thoughts on everything. And again, uh, 20 Arsenal fans watching. <laughs> Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.